Hockey fighting is actually quite common, but this minor league game between the Tallahassee Tiger Sharks and the Louisiana Ice Skaters is another matter entirely. Kyle Schultz was the announcer. To get there, and then throwing down Weingartner is Louis Bedard, and in comes Baduke, and he hammered him. Oh, he just threw him down. John Bad Boy Baduk was an enforcer who primarily played in the AHL, WHL, and the ECHL. He never made it to the NHL, was never drafted by an NHL team, but left his mark on the game of hockey. Baduke started his career in the Western Hockey League, Canada's West Coast Major Junior affiliation with the CHL. He would start in 1988-89 for the Regina Pats, later going on to play for the Victoria Cougars and the Portland Winterhawks. In his first season with the Pats, he would only play eight games scoring zero points and only notching four penalty minutes. It was in the 89-90 season playing for Victoria that his role as enforcer really took off. Playing in just 49 games, scoring one goal and getting two assists, but spending 138 minutes in the box. His next season with the Cougars saw him play 66 games and more than double his penalty total of the previous season, this time spending 305 minutes in the box. This trend would continue as he played for the Portland Winter Hawks, where in the 91-92 season, he would spend 335 minutes in the penalty box, and in the 92-93 season, 367 penalty minutes served. Starting his pro career, in 93-94, Baduke would split time between three teams in three different leagues, playing for the Hamilton Canucks of the AHL, the Columbus Chill of the ECHL, and the Brantford Smoke of the Colonial Hockey League. He would only play one game with Brantford, scoring one goal and getting two penalty minutes. With the Columbus Chill of the ECHL, he would play seven games and spend 60 minutes in the box, but it was the 55 games he played with Hamilton in the AHL which saw him spend 356 minutes in the penalty box. And even though it wasn't a full season, he earned the AHL honor of most penalized player in the league that season. Paduk would spend the next three seasons playing for the Syracuse Crunch of the AHL, playing in 114 games, scoring eight times and getting two assists and spending an astounding 649 minutes in the penalty box. That's an average of 5.69 minutes in every game he played over a three-year period. Baduke would also spend parts of the next four seasons playing in the ECHL for a variety of teams, including the Wheeling Thunderbirds, Wheeling Nailers, Tallahassee Tiger Sharks, and the Miami Matadors. Over the course of that four-year period, he would play in 95 games and spend a total of 499 minutes in the box. He would play in his last professional season during the 99-2000 campaign for the Phoenix Mustangs of the West Coast Hockey League. There he would play in 18 games, scoring twice, getting one assist, and 178 penalty minutes. Baduke did not endear himself to the fans for his goal scoring ability. It was his fighting skill and being an enforcer on the ice that cemented his legacy with the fans. And in 1999, two years after he had finished playing with the team, the fans of the Syracuse Crunch took it to a vote and John Baduke's number 14 was raised to the rafters of their stadium. Just want to give a shout out to Thrawn Theater. Thanks for the request. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if anyone out there wants me to profile a hockey player that you really like, just leave a comment and I will get to it eventually. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell! It's